Coming off the team's second straight College Cup appearance and first outright ACC regular season title, this year's team has a different look with just six returning starters. It's a much different team. You know, there was an awful lot of um, comfort in knowing that uh, Tiff McCarty and Jess Price and Casey Short and Enos Torina and uh, Taylor Vansell and um, the rest of the gang were all going to be there. But um, you know, we have new kids, new opportunities, and um, I think at the end of the day, our team could become pretty good. The strength of the veteran squad will be on the defensive side of the field, returning Cassie Coleman, Kristen Grubka, and their keeper, Kelsey Weiss. The triangle in the back, I think we're very experienced and we're coming it off a season that we had a very good run at it, so I'm, I think we're all hoping to get right back where we left off last season. In order to make another great postseason run, the Seminoles will need to rely on some new faces this year, and the veterans have been making it an easy transition this offseason. They've been extremely helpful with all the newcomers and myself, and uh, they've shown us the ropes, where to go, where we need to be at certain times, and they've made it an easy transition for us from high school to now. Despite the losses to the team, the Seminoles earned their highest preseason rank in school history, sitting at third in the nation. But the team feels they still need to prove their worth. This season, this team is still to be defined, and um, I think that uh, we have no reason to believe there won't be another good year for us, but uh, I think all of these preseason rankings are, are done based on what happened last year as opposed to what's going on this year. There's no reason not to believe the Seminoles can't make it back. The majority of the team did experience the College Cup last year in San Diego, and the hunger to get back is common throughout the team. I think we have a lot of tradition with our team, so uh, everyone wants to exceed expectations and do the best of their ability and just uh, work hard for each other. It was definitely, I felt more comfortable and I think the team felt more comfortable being there the year before and then coming back. So I'm hoping that it gave the freshmen last year that chance too so that once we get there, hopefully again, that everyone will just be more relaxed and more comfortable in this setting that's so much larger than home games or away games. The Seminoles host 12 of their 19 games this season right here in Tallahassee where they are a perfect 14-0 last year. It all gets started this Friday the 23rd when they host Oregon State at 7 p.m. At the Soccer Complex, Jonathan Shalasi, Seminoles.com.